So here we are in the kitchen. Not the normal place where you uh, do some model railroading, but uh, it always works a little better when the uh, my wife is not home, which she's not, so I'm taking over the kitchen to work on these uh, molds. <clears throat> so anyways, there's the bridge. There's one of the tunnels, the other tunnel. What I normally do is I cover them with uh, lightweight hydrocol from uh, Woodland Scenics. And then after I get a nice coat on it, then I put some plaster cloth over it uh, to give it a little bit of strength. And uh, so it doesn't, if it does crack, it'll stay together. That normally seems to work pretty well for me. The reason I coat everything in aluminum foil, one is for the shape where the rock is going to be when the when I crumple up the aluminum foil. But the other is that it seems to pull off pretty easy. And uh, I always spray all the molds like I do the rubber molds with some wet water. And I found a uh, an old hairspray bottle. Works actually very well. Thank my wife again. And uh, what I'll do is I'll show, uh, show you how I'm going to do this. Normally I'll coat one side by holding it you know, level like that. I'll coat one side and slowly turn it over as it dries and then do the other side and then do the top. And uh, I'll try to give you a step by step along the way. Normally I find having stir sticks really helps to smooth things out and uh, obviously paper towels to try to keep the mess to a minimum. And I think I got about half an hour or maybe 45 minutes before she gets back home. So anyways, here we go.